Is it time to buy or sell CrowdStrike stock? In this video, we will explore CrowdStrike in depth. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, the 7th of August, 2024, and now we are here to provide you with an even more comprehensive analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You definitely do not want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any one of 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is intended for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. Since the 17th of July, 2024, our system has identified CrowdStrike as a sell candidate, assigning it a score of negative 3.59. Now let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. The stock has experienced a decline of 35.01%. This equates to an average daily loss of 2.19% since it was designated as a sell candidate. The stock currently sits at the lower end of a very wide and declining trend in the short term, which may present a favorable buying opportunity. Should the lower trend floor at $214.03 be breached, it would indicate a stronger rate of decline. The present three-month trend suggests a potential change of negative 18.21% over the next three months, with a possible return ranging from negative 24.11% to positive 27.18%. In terms of the 12-month trend, it indicates a potential change of 108.8% over the next year, with a possible return between 98.87% and 273.86%. This translates to a price range of $458.74 to $862.38 after one year. Our latest daily update for CrowdStrike includes the headline, CrowdStrike stock price down 0.44% on Wednesday. The CrowdStrike stock price fell by 0.44% on the last day, which was Wednesday, the 7th of August, 2024, dropping from $231.69 to $230.67. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated by 5.82%, with a low of $230.10 and a high of $243.50. The price has declined in six of the last 10 days and is down by 10.64% during this period. Interestingly, volume decreased on the last day along with the stock price, which is generally a positive sign since volume typically follows the stock trend. On the last day, the trading volume decreased by 1 million shares, totaling 9 million shares traded for approximately $2 billion and $90 million. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price reached was $398.30, while the lowest price was $140.52. Currently, the price is 42.09%, or $167.63 below the 52-week high of $398.30, which is also the all-time high for the stock. Recent developments concerning CrowdStrike Holdings Incorporated, traded under the ticker CRWD, indicate significant legal challenges ahead. Multiple law firms have initiated class action lawsuits against the company, specifically targeting shareholders who purchased shares between the 29th of November, 2023, and the 29th of July, 2024. These suits allege potential violations of securities laws, which could enable investors to seek recovery for any financial losses sustained during this period. As the deadline to serve as lead plaintiff in these cases is set for the 30th of September, 2024, the urgency is palpable. Investors who may have faced setbacks due to their CRWD investments are encouraged to connect with legal counsel to understand their rights and options. 
In the short term, these class action announcements could lead to increased volatility in CRWD's stock price as investors react to the unfolding legal situation and its implications. There might be concerns regarding the company's financial health and reputational impact, which could deter new investments or exacerbate sell-offs by jittery shareholders. Long-term effects will hinge on the outcomes of these legal proceedings. If CrowdStrike is found liable or if the lawsuits lead to significant settlements, the company could face financial strain, adversely affecting its stock performance over time. Conversely, if CrowdStrike successfully navigates these legal challenges, it might stabilize investor confidence and ultimately support a recovery in its stock value. Investors will be closely monitoring these developments as they unfold. Analyst Ratings On Tuesday, the 6th of August, 2024, it was reported that Needham assigned CRWD a neutral grade accompanied by a hold action. On the same day, Deutsche Bank rated CRWD as outperform with a hold action. Also on that Tuesday, Piper Sandler provided CRW with an overweight rating and a hold action. That same day, BMO Capital designated CRWD as market perform with a hold action. Lastly, on Tuesday, the 6th of August, 2024, Seaport Global rated CRB with a buy and an upgrade action. Analysts have assigned CrowdStrike stock a general sell rating. They classify the price-to-earnings ratio as strong sell and the price-to-book ratio as strong sell. In terms of return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for CrowdStrike. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, the 2nd of August, 2024, and so far, the stock has risen by approximately 5.87%. Further upward movement is indicated until a new top pivot is established. However, there have also been some negative signals that may influence short-term developments. The CrowdStrike stock currently holds a buy signal based on the short-term moving average. Simultaneously, the long-term average indicates a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average, this presents a general sell signal for the stock, suggesting a more negative forecast. Should the stock continue to gain, it will encounter resistance from the long-term moving average at $326.18. Conversely, if the stock declines, it will find support from the short-term average at $227.45. A breakout above the long-term average will generate another buy signal, while a drop below the short-term average will introduce an additional sell signal, reinforcing the overall negative signal. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or MACD. Volume decreased alongside the price during the last trading day, which mitigates overall risk, as volume should ideally follow price movements. Here are some additional signals you might find intriguing. The moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. Pivots showed a buy signal four days ago. Bollinger also indicated a buy signal 14 days ago. The short-term moving average suggested a buy signal three days ago. Conversely, the long-term moving average signaled a sell 17 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 16 days ago. When we examine the 12-month chart, we observe. The short moving average provided a sell signal 22 days ago. The long-term moving average also indicated a sell signal 15 days ago. However, the relationship between the short and long moving averages suggested a buy signal 7 days ago. For more signals, please visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for CrowdStrike CrowdStrike finds support from accumulated volume at $224.22. This level may present a buying opportunity, as an upward reaction is expected when this support is tested. The stock experiences significant movement throughout the day, indicating high volatility and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band, it is considered to carry a very high risk. Over the last day, the stock fluctuated by $13.40 between its high and low, representing a movement of 5.82%.
In the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 6.65%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for CrowdStrike, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. This extremely high P-E ratio suggests that the stock could be overvalued. However, it's not uncommon for technology companies or those with substantial market potential to have such high ratios. In other news, the next earnings report for the third quarter of 2024 is expected on the 28th of August, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates are at 98 cents. Keep an eye on these numbers as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for CrowdStrike. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for CrowdStrike is at $233.65. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, CrowdStrike encounters its first support level at $224.22. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for CrowdStrike from various analyst sources indicates a recommendation to sell. Now let's examine some recent insider trades. On the 15th of July, 2024, Henry Sean executed an insider sale of 4,000 shares of Class A common stock. On the 12th of July, 2024, Kurtz George conducted an insider sale of 60,000 shares of Class B common stock. On the same day, Kurtz George also executed an insider sale of 40,000 shares of Class B common stock. Additionally, on the 12th of July, 2024, Kurtz George made an insider purchase of 60,000 shares of Class A common stock. Furthermore, on that same day, Kurtz George purchased another 40,000 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the most recent 100 insider trades, we've determined that the insider power is negative with a ratio of negative 19.919. In total, insiders acquired 382,916 shares and sold 574,529 shares in these last 100 trades. We currently hold a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been established. Is CrowdStrike stock a good purchase? CrowdStrike shows several concerning indicators, and we anticipate that it will continue to perform poorly in the coming days or weeks. Therefore, we have a negative outlook on this stock. After assessing the volatility and movements during the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price appears to be undervalued. For trading on Thursday, the 8th of August, we expect CrowdStrike to open at $4.09 and begin trading at $234.76. We want to remind you that trading carries a significant risk of financial loss. It is advisable to consult with a financial advisor prior to making any purchases or sales of securities. Your investment decisions should not solely rely on the information provided by StockInvest.us. By utilizing this information, you accept responsibility for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day. With best regards from all of us here at StockInvest.